I feel incredibly privileged to be in the job I'm in. I'm in the lucky position where I get to see Red Scrolls more often than most people do. They've got so much character inside their tiny bodies. Each time you see them, it's a bit more special than the last. I remember when I was young, my dad was voluntary warden for a local wildlife trust reserve. I remember just like running a little bit feral around the forest, stripping ivy off the trees and feeling really proud of myself. And then my dad coming along and saying, actually, ivy's a natural part of this too. It has a place here. And I remember that being quite a mind opening moment. The natural world and the ecosystems all work in a big messy harmony realising that everything has its place. That was quite a lesson I remember. My name's Sarah Purden and I'm the Mid Wales Red Squirrel Officer. A lot of people don't know this, but Grey squirrels aren't native to the UK, and actually the first grey squirrel was seen in this part of Mid Wales only 75 years ago. Red squirrels were everywhere. If you look at a big tree, probably when that tree was growing a bit younger, that will have had red squirrels running around in it. Everywhere where grey squirrels have arrived, red squirrels have died out. Grey squirrels throw the ecosystems out of balance and they kill huge numbers of trees. The Mid Wales Red Squirrel Partnership started when some local foresters realised that most people weren't seeing red squirrels anymore, but they were still seeing them and they realised that the population hadn't died out here where it had elsewhere. My job is to try and keep track of the red squirrel population that survived up here and ultimately to try and boost the numbers. When you're walking around in the woods and you hear a rustle of movement and see a flash of red up in the treetops, that's one of the most special feelings out there because you're seeing something that very few people get to see, especially in this area. I love that my job brings me out into the woods and I get to go up into some of these incredibly quiet places that very few people get to go. One of my favourite parts of the job is visiting new places, looking for signs of squirrels and putting out the camera traps. The anticipation of what will you get and what won't you get and then when you revisit the cameras and you get to take the footage home and Looking through that footage is a real privilege because you get a real glimpse into what's happening when humans aren't around and you see the wildlife acting quite normally and you never know what's going to come up. It's really important to work with people on projects like this and at the end of the day the red squirrels wouldn't still be here if local people hadn't got involved. It also makes the job a lot more worthwhile, having conversations with people, opening people's eyes to things that they might not have known about the environment around them. Without the local people and volunteers working with us on this, the red squirrels here would have almost certainly died out by now. I don't think red squirrels deserve special treatment above other species, but they are in such a fragile state right now that we have to work to protect them and for me they're a symbol of the struggles in conservation across the world. There are plenty of people, myself included, that struggle to feel like you have any power in the face of all of the global climate crises and biodiversity crises and it can feel powerless. But small scale conservation projects like this give people a voice and actions that they can take that is one of the most important things for bringing people hope 
I feel incredibly proud to be doing this job, especially as someone who grew up in the area. It's really special. We've achieved some amazing things in the last few years. Looking back at what we've achieved, I think we've done a lot to be proud of. <laughs>